so guys this is the nxp semiconductors website okay and we are gonna explore their nxp s32 automotive microcontrollers from their official website and the web pages so if you will navigate to the nxp.com and over there under the product section you will find all the different kind of semiconductor chips ranging from microcontrollers to microprocessors to some ASIC ICs also and in this we are gonna navigate and explore the s32 automotive processing platform so nxp s32 processing platform this is a web page in which we can see different automotive microcontrollers and microprocessors being divided into these seven categories let's give a brief about these seven different categories of nxp s32 microcontrollers and microprocessors out of these sevens these four s32 g n r and z and e so all these four are the microprocessors which are used for the applications like that of zonal gateways software defined vehicles a dash high end a dash applications so a dash applications like of radar so s32 r is a proper dedicated microprocessor for the radar based a dash applications so it has dedicated radar based peripherals and connectivity features whereas s32 k is a full family of microcontrollers which is used for the general purpose applications like of body control domain chassis domain or hmi telematics power train active power safety so all these functional domains but their low end and general purpose applications can be built with the study to k microcontrollers as a small ecu nodes or ecu subsystems and if we come to the study to m so these are the dedicated microcontrollers which are being used for the motor control applications so these have been used for these have motor control applications we mean like for the servo motors stepper motors which are used for trunk opening seat adjustment seat belt uh, motors which are used so in all those in whatsoever small applications where there is use of servo motor stepper motor bldc motors or high end motor drivers in a so s32m is a dedicated family for that and when we come to the ethernet because in automotive right now there is a very much need of ethernet based protocol and applications for the software defined vehicles aid as so to transfer the data and process the huge amount of data which is being in the automotive so for that there is a whole family of s32j so out of these seven we are gonna right now mainly focus on the s32k and gonna explore the s32k in depth rest we will explore in upcoming tutorials and the videos so out of these seven categories we will deep dive into the nxp s32k general purpose microcontrollers these are the microcontrollers which are used for building the applications not only limited to but recommended and specifically for body control domain zonal architecture based and the electrification based uh, automotive solutions when we say body control we basically mean the automotive solutions and products like of interior and exterior lightning seat adjustments wireless keys rooftop control and etc and when we say zonal control based automotive applications we basically mean the ecu node and the centralized gateways for controlling the another domains of an automotive vehicle. And by the electrification, this is basically the powertrain domain of a vehicle in which systems like of battery management systems, EV chargers, onboard and offboard chargers, motor control units, and the power electronic based applications, the products comes up. Okay, and uh, not only limited to these, but also the applications for the ADAS in the active and safety domain uh, can also be built using the NXP study to K microcontrollers. And all these automotive solutions, which we have just stated, these are life critical embedded products so a high level of embedded security and safety is also required so as to build such kind of automotive products and solutions and thus s32k microcontrollers are compliant to acl b or d which is an automotive functionality safety iso 26262 global level standard so as to build such a level of automotive solutions and products nxp has divided the s32 k series further into two parts s32 k1 and the s32 k3 series so when we are dealing with automotive microcontrollers this embedded security features and the safety features are one of the very important things to look upon out of which k1 is based on arm cortex m0 and arm cortex m4 processors whereas s32 k3 family is based on arm cortex m7 running at much higher speed and even in some of the s32 k3 microcontrollers there are two or three cores so which means that k1 can be used for some uh, less computational and low end purpose applications so one can see that s32 k3 can be used for the applications which need heavy amount of computation and handling number of input and output like
like say we are building a solutions for body control domain so in that we have a one ecu which is controlling the interior lightning and we have a one ecu which is controlling the windows of our car doors okay power windows and then we have one uh, ecu which is controlling the uh, this seat adjustment of, of our seats and all these are the simple and single input output applications the uh, automotive body control domain and then we all these ecus are being connected with our main body control domain okay which is handling all these number of inputs outputs and uh, sending the data to other ecu gateways or to other parts of the vehicle so we can build these three small ecu nodes with the std to k1 and the one main std to k3 will be there in our main body control domain controller because k1 it can be used for handling of uh, simple input output and single or the low end applications and whereas in the k3 when we will be using the as a body control gateway so in that case we can use std to k3 as it will be having number of inputs outputs and much more amount of data to be processed and in terms of the security uh, and the safety std to k1 has csec peripheral which is the C standard based cryptography peripheral and std to k3 has hsc peripheral which is the Evita high uh, standard based security peripheral. Both K1 and K3 have security peripherals but of different standards. CSEC uh, which is C peripheral in K1 and HSE which is a Evita light, Evita heavy peripheral, standard uh, per embed security peripheral. And in terms of functional safety, S32 K1 is purely up to compliant up to ACL B. Whereas S32 K3 is compliant up to ACL B and ACL D. So it has a range of microcontrollers in them. And now so as to develop the automotive solutions and products with this NXP study to KM family. So NXP also provide number of design resources and design resources can be further categorized into the hardware resources and the software resources. So in terms of the software, NXP provides both AutoSAR and non-AutoSAR based software support for its x 32 k microcontrollers. So AutoSAR is a global level software stack standard which are being used for developing the embedded software on the microcontrollers and microprocessors for the automotive applications and but AutoSAR is quite challenging and it is quite uh, needs a lot of skill sets and experience to work on so NXP also provides non AutoSAR based software support for the low applications that doesn't need the global level standards to be uh, followed and compliances and also for the developers and the learners and the people who, who want to start with the automotive applications and start working on it but they don't want so much of challenges or like hurdles of having the AutoSAR level things and all things so they can also start like student students, college students, working professionals, early working professionals and tech enthusiasts can easily start with the automotive based projects and solutions to build in the non autosar uh, software support which is given by NXP. The rest we will detail, uh, explore much more in detail about what all software support is given for K1 and K3 after the couple of minutes of this video. Also we would like to share in this video some of the resources which are available for the NXP for developing the and learning the Shredu K microcontrollers at get to byte Technologies, we have built number of blocks in the form of getting started blocks, peripheral understanding, DIV projects, then sensor module interfacing and all these categories for getting started and understanding the automotive technologies and learnings using the NXP Shredu 2 microcontrollers. They also dedicated courses and number of automotive related courses which viewers can check for learning, prototyping and getting to know about the things of an automotive technologies at industry level concepts and in terms of the hardware it provides number of evaluation and development boards so the difference between development boards and evaluation boards and the reference design boards are that development boards are used for prototyping and developing the automotive applications using the automotive microcontrollers so in all these development boards or evaluation boards you will find that there is a central microcontroller and then all these microcontroller pins are being exposed out using the header pins so that we can connect different sensors modules and different kinds of things so as to build the different applications and prototype them and then on these boards only there are some connectivity features like of automotive can automotive ethernet okay so this is an ethernet one and same way there are different evaluation boards like for can specifically can breakout board and then telematics and battery management based evaluation boards and development boards for prototyping and developing it reference design boards are kind of like production ready hardware designs which can be used by the customers by the big companies and the developers to 
directly get the hardware reference and start building their software solutions for the for accelerating the development cycle of a product for their applications so nxp largely provides a reference design boards for the battery management systems it also provides certain reference design boards for the telematics domain and lighting solutions and in our development we are gonna mainly use the development boards and evaluation boards as a learner and as prototyping it's best to use the evaluation boards and development boards and so apart from nxp we at get to byte have also developed number of automotive hardware kits based on nxp study to k1 and k3 families so users and viewers can check out these boards for getting started and these are very much cost effective as compared to what original nxp provides and with almost all kind of features and capabilities we will get into much in details of these in our subsequent videos and training tutorials of our automotive technologies 